the ceremonial area for the arrival honors. Our guest of honor and speaker has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, announcing Recording the arrival of Commissioner Vitaliano and Aguirre II, Vice Chairman and Executive Officer, National Police Commission. He is being welcomed by our police host, Police Brigadier General Harris Pama, Deputy Director, DPCR, for the arrival honors. Our honorary will now inspect the troops. Please be seated. Grouping the line, ladies and gentlemen, is our guest of honor and speaker in today's 26th Police Community Relations Month kickoff ceremony. Commissioner Vitaliano N. Aguirre II, the Vice Chairman and Executive Officer of the National Police Commission, is being accompanied by our police host, Police Brigadier General Harris Pama, 
Deputy Director of Directorate for Police Community Relations, and the Honor Guard Commander, Police Colonel Esmeraldo Osea Jr. of the Directorate for Police Community Relations. Trooping the line is a long-time tradition in the Philippine National Police, which gives our guests of honor a chance to view the troops. Makinig! Papayag! Mga kasama, pinapaabot ng ating panahoy pang dingal na si Commissioner Italiano Enagiri Asean, Vice Chairman and Executive Officer, National Police Commission. Ang kanyang taos-pusong pasasalamat sa parangal na ginawad dati sa kanya sa umagang ito. Ladies and gentlemen, the arrival honors have been completed. Again, ladies and gentlemen, a warm applause for Commissioner Vitaliano N. Aguirre II, Vice Chairman, Executive Officer, National Police Commission. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to flag raising ceremony and the 26th Police Community Relations Month kick-off ceremony, signing of the Memorandum of Agreement between the PMP and the Jaime V. Ongpin Foundation Incorporated, signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the PMP and the Association of Marine Officers and Siemens Union of the Philippines here at the National Headquarters, Philippine National Police. Joining us are the D staff, P staff and NSU directors, regional directors, provincial directors, district directors, city directors, and chief of police all over the country, and broadcasting live via official Facebook page of the Philippine National Police.
The ceremony will now begin. Magsitayo po tayong lahat para sa ating pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Kongho! Kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Wait, boy. No. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to inform everyone that our national flag will be placed on half mass in honor of our brother soldiers who perished in an unfortunate incident in Sulu. Please remain standing for the invocation to be led by Police Brigadier General Jason Ortizo, Director of the PMP Chaplain Service. With humble and penitent hearts, let us bow our heads to recognize the holy presence of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, we gather together with praise and thanksgiving for your great love and mercy. Accept our gratitude for all the wonderful things you have given us. As much as we are grateful for our flag raising and 26th Police Community Relations Month kick-off ceremony with the theme, Pulisya at Pamayanan, Barangayanihan sa Hamon ng Pandemya at Laban sa Krimen. Unite us all with the abundance of your blessings more so to our beloved GPNP and the People's Chief, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Eliasar. Keep us always in the state of your ever-saving grace as we entrust to you our humble endeavor to strengthen the partnership and active participation of the community in peacekeeping and public safety programs. And in a very special way, we pray for the tragic loss of our fellow public servants and to those who were injured due to the incident with the ill-fated C-130 plane that crashed landed in Patikol, Sulu. In a moment of silence, let us offer our prayers for them. In like manner, 
We pray for the families who were displaced in the wake of the imminent alert status of the Al Volcano in Batangas. Finally, we consecrate to you our guest of honor and speaker, Commissioner Vitaliano in Aguirre II. Let his commitment to public service ignite our aspirations to dedicate our duties and responsibilities for the betterment of our police service in the greater glory of your heavenly kingdom. Grant all that we pray in your most holy name. Amen. The Panunumpa ng Katapatan sa Watawat ng Pilipinas and Police Officers Pledge will be led by Police Colonel Marvin Josaro, Chief CAD DPCR. Sabay sabay nating bikasin ang panunumpa ng katapatan sa watawat ng Pilipinas. Ako ay Pilipino, buong katapatang nanunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas at sa bansang kanyang sinasagisag na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na pinakikilos ng sambayanang makajos, makatao, makakalikasan at makabansa. Let us recite in, uniform, in unison the police officer's pledge. I will love and serve God, my country and people. I will uphold the Constitution and obey legal orders of the duly constituted authorities. I will oblige myself to maintain a high standard of morality and professionalism. I will respect the customs and traditions of the police service, and I will live a decent and virtuous life to serve as an example to others. Please be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us now hear the welcome remarks of Police Brigadier General Eric E. Noble, Director, Police Community Affairs and Development Group. Our guest of honor and speaker. Our guest of honor and speaker, Commissioner Vitaliano Aguirre, sir. The Vice Chairman and Executive Officer, of the National Police Commission, yes, sir. our hardworking and energetic Chief PNP, General Guillermo Lorenzo Elizar, sir. our PNP Command Group, fellow officers, non-uniform personnel officers, non-uniform personnel, ladies and gentlemen, kasama na po yung mga nanonood sa Zoom ngayon at sa ating PNP official Facebook Live. Today, the Philippine National Police commences its Police Community Relations Month, a month-long celebration in which the police organization gives premium to the individual contributions of our institutional partners in the PNP's unending battle to keep every corner in our community safe from criminality, terrorism, drug abuse, and even the deadly cause of COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman ang tema ngayon, ngayong taon, na polisya at pamayanan, barangayanihan sa hamon ng pandemya at laban sa krimen, ay napapanahon sa ating adhikaing patuloy na pagbuklo rin at palakasin ang kwersa ng nagkakaisang pulisya at mamamayan para sa maayos at maunlad naman sa, sa kabila ng pandemya at, lab, na, at laban natin sa mga masasamang loob. The PCR month-long celebration is full of activities 
in strengthening our stakeholders' unrelenting support to the PNP programs in pursuing peace and order in the community and launching major programs in partnership with other non-government organizations as well as corporate partners in support of our fight against illegal drugs and all forms of criminality and internal security operations. Pinapatunayan lamang ng pagdiriwang na ito na patuloy pa rin ang pagkakaisa ng pulis at mga pribadong organisasyon upang makapagpaabot ng serbisyo sa bawat komunidad sa gitna ng kinakaharap natin na pandemya dahil ang kaayusan ng ating bansa ay hindi lamang nakasalalay sa kapulisan bagkos ito ay nakasalalay sa pakikiisa ng bawat isa upang makamit ang maayos at mapayapang pamayanan. At this moment, let me take this opportunity also to thank our PNP Chief General Ilesar Sir for his continued support to our PCR or Police Community Relations efforts, especially Isumbong, Igabay, Barangayanihan, at pagbuo ng global coalition ng lingkod bayan advocacy support groups at more force multipliers at iba pang mga programa na nakatulong sa ating komunidad. Salamat po sir sa inyong inspiring leadership which made police community relations engagement with our stakeholders a walk in the park. Napadali po sir yung aming uh, pag-engage uh, sa ating mga kababayan. The Filipino core value of Bayanihan has lived in the long-time tradition of partnership and collaboration we dub as police community relations. Today, we give a new face to the spirit of Bayanihan from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, and even across borders. We rise with these unnamed heroes amid, amid pandemic, this pandemic. Ito ang ating pinagsamang puso ng bawat bayani ang pagpuporsige ng bayanihan sa bawat barangay at pagpupugay sa mga mamamayan na bumubuo ng isang kasaysayan ng pagtutulungan. Narito po at tunghayan natin ang intensified cleanliness policy sa mga komunidad through our nationwide and relentless barangayanihan efforts sa buong bansa at ang pagbuo ng Global Coalition ng Lingkod Bayan Advocacy Support Groups at Force Multipliers. Panoodin po natin ito. Thank you very much, sir. And now, may we request everyone to focus your attention on the screen and let us watch the intensified cleanliness policy cleanliness in the community in an audiovisual presentation. Dito po ako magkapatupad ng Intensified Cleanliness Policy or ICP ng PNP. This ICP is anchored on the broken windows policy. Small problems must be immediately addressed to prevent these problems from getting worse. Cleanliness in the offices, it is where the lasting first impressions of the people are built. The respect of the community is established. It is where the trust and confidence of the public are founded. Cleanliness in the ranks. We need the effective supervision by all unit commanders in all levels of the organization. From the chief PNP to the regional director, to the district director, provincial and city director, chiefs of police, station commanders, and even the PCP commanders and other supervisors and team leaders. I expect every unit commander and team leader to exercise effective supervision 
of their men. We will implement UR code system in all the phases of recruitment process nationwide so we can get the best qualified applicants for the PNP. Walang palakasan, only the best for the PNP, only the best for the Filipino people and cleanliness in the community. I expect police commanders, especially in cities and other urban areas with high crime rate, to step up the campaign in enforcing similar ordinances and other related laws in violation or for against all forms of criminality as part of our crime prevention measures. And so to the men and women of the Philippine National Police, let us always be reminded, service, honor, justice. Ito ang mga salita na nagbibigay ng tunay na kulugan ng pagiging isang pulis. At ito ang mga salita na isusukli natin sa ating mga kababayan, pulis ng Pilipino. Halos dalawang buwan pa lamang mula ng manungkulan bilang Chief PNP ang ipinatupad na leadership agenda na Intensified Cleanliness Policy o ICP ni Police General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Eliazar ay lubos ng dama at tinatangkilik ng organisasyon at ng mga mamamayan. I humbly present indications and manifestations of good governance and better police service by your Philippine National Police. Daman ng mga mamamayan ang magandang pamamalakad at serbisyong hatid ng Intensified Cleanliness Policy. Tiwala sa pampansang pulisya ay tumataas. The public we serve deserves professionalism and integrity. Public trust and confidence are earned. We must be on the right track. Our services, our initiatives are what compels private organizations and individuals to voluntarily collaborate and partner with our various units. Tumataas na tiwala ng mamamayan ay agarang nasundan ng lumalakas na suporta ng iba't ibang sektor sa mga programa ng inyong PNP. Sa pagsigla ng ugnayang pulis at komunidad, nailunsad ang Barangayanihan Health and Food Bank. Programang mas lalong napagtibay sa kakayahang pagtulong sa mga mamamayan ng mga barangay sa buong bansa. Police community relations are stronger than ever. Communities are manifesting trust and confidence by actively participating and supporting our various units. Sharing with us mutual aspirations, the promotion and preservation of peace and order. Noong June 25, 2021, tanda ng lumakas na suporta ng mga mamamayan, matagumpay na naisagawa ang grand launching of Global Coalition of Lingkod Bayan Advocacy Support Groups and Force Multipliers. Mismong si Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte ang naging bisitang pandangal at tagapagsalita. Ang koalisyon ay katibayan ng pagtaas ng tiwala at paglakas ng suporta ng mga mamamayan dahil sa ICP. Sa pagtataguyod ng Directorate for Police Community Relations, ng Police Community Affairs and Development Group, at lahat ng sangay ng PNP. Ating ipagbunyi ang pagtaas ng tiwala at suporta ng mamamayan. Ating ipagdiwang ang makabuluhang ugnayan ng pulis at mamamayan. Sama-sama nating itaguyod, pulis at pamayanan, paranggayanihan sa hamon ng pandemya at laban sa krimen. Thank you very much. And now the... Barangayanihan sa buong bansa. Roll VDR. Barangayanihan, Help and Food Bank. This effort, pakikita ang talagang damdamin ng ating mga Pilipino. Ang pagtulong sa bawat isa. Kahit minsan din 
ang hihinaan Hindi hindi pa rin pagagapi Kahit mahirap ay ngingiti ang labi Takot at pangamba man ay maghari Para sa kaligtasang hindi mawari Ngunit di isa ang sigurado Kayang kaya ito kung ikaw at ako Nangangamba Kung bukas ba tayo'y uuwi ba Ang lahat ng ito ay kakayanin Dahil sa bayan ito ang tungkulin Kahit walang sandatang saklay At tanging Diyos ang nag-iisang gabay Ikaw at ako sa iisang laban Ikaw at ako para sa ilang bayan
Thank you very much. Troop Commander, sir, please bring the troops to about pace. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to call Commissioner Vitaliano N. Aguirre II, the Vice Chairman and Executive Officer, National Police Commission, for the official declaration of the opening of the 26th PCR Month celebration. Police General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Eleazar, the ranking members of the Philippine National Police, the members of the Philippine National Police, fellow guests, good morning, everyone. Official declaration of the 26th Police Community Relations Month. Proclamation number 783, dated April 12, 1996, declared the month of January of every year as Police Community Relations Month, amended by Presidential Proclamation number 764, signed on January 24, 2005, declares the month of July every year as Police Community Relations Month. The PCR Month celebration aims to develop closer interaction between the police and the community in handling peace and order concerns. It is also an opportune time to strengthen community participation in crime prevention and forge stronger partnership and community support in peacekeeping 
and public safety programs of the PNP. This year's theme is Pulisya at Pamayanan, Barangayanihan sa Hamon ng Pandemia at Laban sa Krimen. May the power vested in me as the Vice Chairman and Executive Officer of the National Police Commission, I now declare the 26th Police Community Relations Month celebration officially open. Thank you very much, sir. Please be seated. Before we watch the ABP of the launching of the Project Vibes, Troop Commander about paid, please. The launching of Project Vibes and audiovisual presentation, Roll VTR. Project Virtual Visita Escuela, dubbed as Project Vibes, I Am Strong, is the revitalized project of Oplan Visita Escuela. This project aims to empower our children and our youth of their rights and protection from unscrupulous groups and individuals who will try to corrupt their minds, abuse, and exploit their vulnerabilities to commit crime or be misled by malevolent practices and ideologies. Ascenting the Project Vibes is the acronym STRONG, which stands for positive traits such as smart, talented, responsible, obedient, nice and God-fearing, shaping and influencing these young generations to be strong, thereby stimulating their active support and participation in the crime prevention efforts of the Philippine National Police. Project Vibes in the New Normal makes it possible for PNP personnel to reach out these students and out-of-school youth as we see them as the hope of our nation. Virtually conducting crime prevention advocacy programs with the aid of video clips and other medium of presentations in coordination with different schools and community leaders with empowered lecture discussion on crime prevention strategies, anti-terrorism, and other advocacy campaigns embracing these children from not becoming children in conflict with the law. PNP's Project Vibes paved the way for their advocates like the Jaime V. Ompink Foundation Incorporated and other partner organizations to extend assistance to these children by also providing school supplies or hygiene kits, mentoring and even introducing livelihood programs through community linkages both in government and other partnering civic organizations. Through Project Vibes, follow-up house visitations shall be conducted by PNP personnel to deliver the souvenir kits at their very doorsteps, distributing information, education and communication materials and WCPD hotline numbers, ensuring that these children are treated well by their family members, free from abuses and exploitations. Let's support Project Vibes and see better future for the next generation. We will now proceed to the signing of the Memorandum of Agreement between the PNP and the Jaime Angpin Foundation Incorporated. We would like to request the signatories to proceed to the ceremonial table for the signing of the MOA. 
For the PNP, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Eliazar. For the Jaime Ongpen Foundation Incorporated, Mr. Reynaldo Bautista Jr., President Jaime Ongpen Foundation Incorporated. Together with the witnesses, Police Major General Rodel Sermonia, the Director for Police Community Relations, and Ms. Maria Rosario Lopez, Manager, Jaime Ongpen Foundation Incorporated. This MOA signing between the PNP and the Jaime Ongpen Foundation Incorporated, represented by its president, Mr. Reynaldo Bautista Jr., formalizes the proactive collaborative efforts of the organizations in advocating awareness to children and out-of-school youth of the government's effort against criminality, illegal drugs, and terrorism to help them become good and responsible citizens through the PNP Project Vibes, an acronym for Virtual Visita Escuela, I Am Strong, where strong stands for smart, talented, responsible, obedient, nice, God-fearing, or Project Vibes. Project Vibes in a new normal setting makes it possible for the PNP personnel to reach out to these students and out-of-school youths by virtually conducting crime prevention advocacy programs with the aid of video clips and other medium of presentations in coordination with different schools and community leaders. PNP's Project Vibes paved the way for the advocates like the Jaime Ongpen Foundation Incorporated and other partner organizations to extend assistance to these children who are vulnerable and susceptible to abuses, discrimination, and exploitation. With this partnership, the PNP personnel may also visit our children at home to deliver these, to deliver hygiene kits and school supplies at their very doorstep as we check if their situation is free from violence and or sexual exploitation of children. For the photo opportunity, may we request the officers of the Jaime Ongpen Foundation Incorporated to join, occupying the right side, and the PNP Command Group in IG EAS for photo ops, occupying the left side. Thank you very much. Kindly return to your seats. And may we request our Chief PNP and the Director for Police Communi Community Relations to please remain for the second part of the Memorandum of Understanding signing. For the... For the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the PNP and the Association of Marine Officers and Seamen's Union of the Philippines, or AMOSOP, we would like to request the signatories to proceed to the ceremonial table for the signing of the MOU. Once again, for the Chief PNP, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Eliazar. For AMOSOP, Dr. Conrado Oca, President AMOSOP. With the witnesses, Police Major General Lourdel Sermonia, the Director for Police Community Relations, Police Brigadier General John Mitchell Hamili, Director Maritime Group, and Vice Admiral Eduardo Santos, Executive Vice President, AMOSU. The Global Peace Community Relations International Local Help Desk, or GPCRILHD, is one of the programs of the PNP with a prime objective to address specific concerns of Filipinos abroad and those which 
affect their families in the Philippines in terms of security, public safety, peace and order. The Association of Marine Officers and Seamen's Union of the Philippines, or AMOSUP, is among the largest association of marine and seafarers globally. Anchored with a goal of GPCR ILHD, the partnership with AMOSUP not only aims to further enhance collaboration with our stakeholders, but also to reach out to our fellow Filipinos abroad who are in need of PNP assistance. Further endeavors will also include partnership in terms of training, wherein the AMOSUP will provide and assist logistics such as sea vessels and rescue equipment in the training of PNP personnel, particularly the PNP Maritime Group. The partnership primarily aims to provide appropriate police assistance to the overseas Filipinos, particularly the seafarers, by allowing them to directly report to police attaches in local PNP through the GPCR ILHD. Crime or information, especially those that relate to or affect their families and loved ones left in the country. For the photo opportunity, may we request the officers of the AMOSUP to join occupying the right side and the PNP command group and IGEAS occupying the left side. Thank you very much, sirs, and kindly be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce our guest of honor and speaker, may we call the Director for Police Community Relations, Police Major General Rodel O. Sermonia. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. The Philippine National Police indeed gives premium to the importance of the people in the communities and the partnership we forge over the years that we dedicate a full month of celebration for the police community relations. No less than the President, Rodrigo Roa Duterte, recognizes the relevance of forging partnership with the communities that he himself graced two weeks ago the grand launching of Lingkud Bayan, advocacy support groups, and force multipliers. As prelude to the month-long celebration of Police Community Relations Months. Of course, this leveling up of PCR was made possible through the support of our strongest advocate of Police Community Relations, no less than our dear Chief PNP, General Guillermo Lorenzo Eliasar, a PCR man himself, who in his own right enjoys a high level of perception capital, which helped the PNP to win the hearts and minds of our stakeholders, even in these trying times 
of pandemic. Maraming salamat po, Chief PNP Eliazar. And at this point, it is with great pleasure to introduce our Vice Chairman and Executive Officer and Commissioner, Atorne Vitaliano N. Aguirre II. If one takes a closer look at the alchemy of a successful person, two distinct virtues are evident. Besides perseverance and hard work, these are dedication and excellence. Vice Chair and Executive Officer Aguirre is the leading, living idiom of a man who happened to consistently possess both in different facets of his life. He had become the person who is now because of the virtues and values that was developed and nurtured in his education. Being a consistent honor student during his childhood, a magna cum laude in college, and a cum laude and valedictorian from San Bede School of Law is a testament of his consistency in academic excellence. Vice Chair and Executive Officer Aguirre received various awards and citations, such as awardee of Quezon Medalla ng Karangalan, the highest award given by the province of Quezon, outstanding litigator given by Lex Talionis Fraternitas Incorporated, and commendation under the resolution number 26 adopted by the House of Representatives commending the private prosecutors of the House of Prosecution team for their unprecedented achievement during the impeachment trial of Chief Justice Renato Sicorona. Vice Chair and Executive Officer Aguirre is a managing partner of VN Aguirre II Law Office. With over 50 years of legal expertise, he has advised and guided thousands of clients in various industries. In the field of law, he has fought tirelessly as a private prosecutor and lead counsel. His roster of clients also includes prominent politicians and government leaders. Coupled with an impressive background, it was not therefore surprising when he was appointed as Secretary of the Department of Justice by President Rodrigo Roa Duterte from 2016 to 2018. Now, he again accepted the challenge of being a public servant when he took his oath as the new Commissioner and Vice Chairman and Executive Officer of the National Police Commission. Ladies and gentlemen, before I ask our guest of honor and speaker to approach the restroom, I would like to add that we are fortunate to, he to have him as our guest of honor speaker, a man of strong will and commitment to ward off corruption in government offices, a man whose advocacy befits relevance in our quest towards intensified cleanliness policy of the Philippine National Police. With pleasure, let us welcome Commissioner and Vice Chairman and Executive Officer Atorne Vitaliano and Aguirre II. Uh, troop Commander, please give command Tikas Pahinga. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Police Major General uh, Rodel Sermonia for your very generous introduction. Police General, 
Guillermo Lorenzo T. Elazar, my kababayan. Our guest, Mr. Reynaldo Bautista, the president of Jaime Veep Ong Quinn Foundation Incorporated. Ms. Maria Rosario Lopez, executive director of the Jaime Ong Quinn Foundation Incorporated. Our very uh, supportive Dr. Conrado F. Oka, the president of the AMUSUP. Police Brigadier General uh, John Michel Amili, director of the Maritime Group. Executive Vice President of AMUSUP. Mr. Eduardo Maria Santos. All the officers present in today's uh, morning ceremony, all regional directors, provincial directors, and chief of police who are with us via virtual, Zoom. Good morning to everyone. Before anything else, let me express my gratitude for inviting me to attend this activity, for the opportunity to thank PNP for making Napalcom a partner in reaching out to the community. Police effectiveness depends heavily in a robust and functioning collaborative relationship with the community. When law enforcement agencies have good relationships with the local community and understands their needs, they are better able to deliver on a myriad of services to its various publics. Positive relationship between the police and the community have overwhelming benefits for the PNP. Our police can conduct more effective investigation. Our police can do reliable intelligence work. Our police can expect people to report suspicious persons and unlawful incidents. Our police can look forward to people standing as witness and helping in the justice process. Our police can get sectors to support projects. Our police receive offers of help to improve their skills, update their technology, augment the resources for crime prevention in peace and order programs. So if our police enjoy the trust and confidence of the community, our police outstandingly and exceptionally perform better. As we thread to the second year of observing PCRM within the global COVID-19 pandemic, we admit that the situation is a difficult challenge, a demanding balancing act. But then on, we realize that it is likewise a good opportunity to demonstrate and verify that the police in the community working collectively is the most effective way to achieve public safety. The COVID-19 pandemic has placed great pressure on the law enforcement, particularly in giving priority to the protection of citizens. While the pandemic has created new crises for law enforcement, it has also created opportunities for innovation. The police are challenged to employ dynamic, 
community-oriented solutions that can help navigate this volatile, unprecedented and changing environment towards a safer normal. Indeed, Bayanian has never been alive in the hearts of the Filipinos at this time of crisis. Thus, it is but fitting that this year's monthly long celebration of PCR is themed Pulisya at Pamainan, Barangay ni Han sa hamon ng pandemya at laban sa krimen. Barangay ni Han. I suppose is a coined word from the Filipino word Bayanihan, which implies cooperation and collaboration. Barangay Nihan therefore means the coming together and working together of our communities, our barangays to achieve the goal of preventing the spread of COVID-19 as well as safety from crimes. Since last year, our police assumed more roles and responsibilities. This included enforcing public health orders like travel restrictions, manning police in barangay checkpoints, securing health care facilities, assisting in public transportation, controlling crowds, protecting public utilities, securing vaccination sites, and even assisting local governments in the orderly distribution of monetary or food relief. And our chief PNP is always in the lead and the head of these programs. We cannot overly emphasize that this is the very essence of community and service-oriented policing system. Our police must go beyond the traditional role of preventing and solving crimes and ensuring public safety and give premium to assisting the local government units in the delivery of basic services. In our particular situation, we need to focus on assisting in providing public health and sanitation as well as providing order and security in communities. The police must assist the mayor in solving big as well as small or day-to-day -day community problems. This approach requires the police to be preemptive and citizen-centered. Kailangan, bago pumaramdaman ng tao ang pangalan nila, nakaredy na ang polis na ibigay ang serbisyo nito. Officers are expected to anticipate their needs, work closely with the community in preventing the spread of virus, as well as in cushioning its negative impact in their daily lives. On the other hand, CSOP perceives the role of the community as an active agent and partner in promoting public safety. Members of the community must provide support to the police by giving necessary information and share available resources. We are very appreciative of the active involvement of our private organizations like the Ayala Foundation, the Jaime V. Pin Foundation Incorporated, and the Association of Marine Officers in Siemens Union of the Philippines for forging and formalizing their partnerships with the PNP today. These partnerships bring together the expertise and resources with the intention of providing improved public services. This affiliation gave our police connection to people, access to technology, improvement of their skills, and augmentation of logistics. Moreover, donations from different stakeholders, help improve police equipage, and I'm certain that this technical assistance and donations will be put to good use. NAPLCOM, as supervisor of the PNP, will constantly work towards ensuring acceptable and satisfactory job performance through the CSOP. NAPLCOM will make sure 
that our PNP police procedures in implementing the law. During the pandemic, focus of law enforcement operations should be on groups or individuals who perpetrate most serious crimes and violence. We will guide the PNP in preparing the necessary mechanisms that would result in fewer unnecessary arrests. The Commission encourages the PNP to engage with more community partners, especially the marginalized and vulnerable sectors, to take an active part in the recovery efforts towards a better and safer normal. Today, represents another milestone resulting from PNP's outstanding commitment to strengthen the Filipino community. We therefore celebrate your unrelenting resolve to cultivate, strengthen, and empower proactive partnerships within the community by utilizing innovative crime prevention techniques and educational programs. Indeed, only with strong partnerships, enhanced networking capabilities, and organized community infrastructures in price structures can communities become vigilant, prepared, and resilient in the war against crime. The Police Community Relations Month reminds us that none of us will ever do grand things alone. When public and private sectors combine intellectual and other resources, more is achieved. Gains and results are enormous. With the able and competent leadership of our Chief PNP, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Eleazar, and through the assistance of DPCR Director, Police Major General Rodel O. Sermonia, Napolcom is confident that the PNP will maintain the people's trust and bring about safety and security in our communities. In closing, let me reiterate the need for the spirit of Barangay Nihan. Kaya natin ito kung tulong-tulong tayo. Together, let's bring this country towards safer and better days. Ang gandang umaga po muli sa lahat. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Please be seated. We will now proceed to the presentation of token to our distinguished guests. And may we request the Chief PNP to present the token together with the PNP Command Group, IGES, and TDPCR. May we also request Commissioner Vitaliano Aguirre II to please rise. The memento presented to our guest of honor and speaker is an action figure of Lapu-Lapu in grateful recognition and sincere appreciation of his remarkable contributions to the success of the program thrusts of the Philippine National Police. A photo collage is also presented to our guest of honor and speaker, taken earlier during the arrival honors. Thank you very much to our guest of honor and speaker. Kindly be seated, sir. May we, also, may we request our Chief PNP and PNP Command Group, sir, to please remain standing. May we request Mr. Reynaldo Bautista, Jr., President Jaime V. Ongpin Foundation, Incorporated. A token from the Philippine National Police is being presented to the president of Jaime V. Ongpin Foundation, 
Mr. Reynaldo Bautista Jr. Thank you very much. Please remain to our GPM Pendi Command Group. May we also request Dr. Conrado Oca, President, Association of Marine Officers and Siemens Union of the Philippines. He's also receiving a token from the PNP. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Magsitayo po tayong lahat at atin pong awitin ang PMP lingkod ng bayan. Before we conclude, ladies and gentlemen, we would like also to acknowledge our area police commanders who also joined this activity via Zoom. And that concludes our ceremony this morning. Keep safe, everyone. Magandang umaga po at mabuhay ang Philippine National Police.